ICM, Interactive Classroom Management, home of the two-minute tutorial, everything else you need to know in order to integrate technology into your classroom. Hello, in this tutorial you will learn how to use the Magic Pen in your smart notebook software. There are three main things you can do with the Magic Pen. First, you need to select it. Go up to your toolbar and look for the icon that has a pen and three stars. If you don't see that, then go to your pen selector tool where it has three pens. When you click on it, this will come up. Click the black arrow next to the pen, and you can go down to the magic pen. Now you have your magic pen. The first thing the magic pen can do is become disappearing ink. Let's say I wanted to bring your attention to the word magic. I would underline it with a squiggly line, and boom, your attention is on the word magic. But in a few seconds, it will disappear, so it will no longer distract you later on down the lesson. The second thing the magic pen can do is become a spotlight. Let's say I wanted your attention to become to the word there. I would draw a circle around there, and there's your spotlight. If I need the spotlight bigger, I put the cursor in the middle. It becomes double arrows. I can move it, shrink it by going up, and make it bigger by going down. If I want to move the spotlight, I just move the cursor to the outside, and it becomes a pointer finger. Now I can just drag it along to any where I want you to look. When I'm finished, I just click the X, and away it goes. The last thing that the magic pen can do is become a magnifying glass. Let's say I want your attention to go to the word three. I would draw a rectangle around the magnifying glass. If I didn't draw a great enough rectangle, it would just turn into disappearing ink. So try here again. Nice, neat rectangle. It's harder than it appears. And then there you go. It will magnify whatever you have selected. It works the same way as a spotlight tool where you put your cursor in the middle and it becomes double arrows and you can shrink it or make it grow. And you can go to the outside edge, become a pointer finger, and you can drag it along to wherever you want to magnify. Of course, when you're done, just click the X and away it goes. Remember, when you're done with any tool, you always want to go back to your arrow. So click on your arrow. To recap, the magic pen can do three main things. It can become disappearing ink, a spotlight, and magnifying glass. Check out my blog for more ideas on how to use a magic pen in your lessons at teachingicm.weebly.com. Don't forget to subscribe for even more 2-Minute Tutorials, and remember, you can always replay.